Okay, so now, like I said, I'm using an open, um, open and an open and close zip. But you use old school zip for yours. This was a good So now let's continue. That's how I placed it. So now, right side to right side like this. Then I sew. I place my. Start sewing and see the two notches on each other. I sew like one inch upwards. Sorry. You, you so now we are sewing. Let's continue. So I'll be sewing. One inch. My this is very long. Please make your stitches as small as possible. Doesn't um okay. Can see? See this. I see this. Can see? One is okay. So now I'm doing my seat. Just follow me. That's one and a half inch. Okay. That's it. Okay. This on inside, just pull in the place. So, what I'm doing, I'm still going to do that. See, see, so start going up If you have a thing, you can pull it. See, just pull it. Make it straight here. Hmm? See what I did. I put my zip in between. Can see it? So, see. so let me sew. Let me start sewing. You can see. Okay. Let's sew from up. Let's sew from up. So place it like this. I make sure that this um, this iron went inside. Went inside. Get okay. so your, stones, your stitches are going to show. That's for basic sewing. Okay, I've sewed, I've sewed, 
I sew it to the down. Look at it. So that one inch I went up. You can see that. Sorry, I used big. I use the big stitches. So you make your smaller piece. So you can see what I did. You can see the the um zip is in between the line here. You can see. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, I'm going to close it up. Okay, let's watch what I want to do. Because I want to sew to this side. Get. So now I'll call, I'll use this one to lap what I've sewed. So I will now sew on half inch on this side. Are you getting it? Okay, see? See what I did from here. I went on this side. I went to this side from here to a half inch. So I'll start I'll continue from hmm? okay, so from and bring it out on this side. This half is meant to cover this half I'm sewing on, it's meant to cover this, so it's slapping it, it's lapping on it. You can see it's lapping it like this to a lap. Are you seeing it? It's not going to be like this when so you know it will lap on this. Are you getting it? Okay, let me continue sewing. Okay, we are finished fixing the zip. That's this one is on top of it. You see the zip? Okay, it's covering it. Hmm? You see? It. So now for this excess here, just bend it inside like this. Or oh, you see this this that is here. You put it inside like this okay. in between and you sew sew down that okay. mm -hmm. what I did says I put it here I see this one and a half inch I put it in between like this mm -hmm. So, for me, it's finishing. You see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? I'm not going to be tying that one because of time. I don't want the video to get boring. Okay, the same way I did for this one. You can see the one and a half inch that I folded in. One and a half inch for the for the zipper. See? Put it inside like this. Too. Put it inside. And get so that we have a neat.
make sure that this notch needs this notch and this other notch meets this notch. So I'm going to be using a pin to hold it down. So now look at this our nipple to nipple that's what we are going to be using to be fixing the that it was supposed to be another class after this but let me just teach you how you're going to fix your that so that we can get we don't have to make do another video for a that so now nipple to nipple it's now the six plus one six plus one you add one to it it's not six everybody everybody everybody's nipple to it is not six so for this it will be six plus one then divided by two mm -hmm. to get your that that be, to get your that because to to be nipple to nipple plus one divided by two to get your that nipple to nipple plus one divided by two are you getting it mm -hmm. so now we are going to be using this side. Hmm? Most times it is gotten before you start to even cutting your paper. Before you cut your paper, you do it first. So now, I will be doing that. You coming? So now, on you go to the waste region. You can see that we added two and a half when we started. Hmm? Because of the that, two and a half allowance. So now, one and, and six plus one is seven divided by two is three point five. So I'll be marking three point five here. Three point five here. And I'm not continuing marking it down with three point Five. So it will be one inch above your blouse length. So stop at one inch above your blouse length. Get. Then for us to be able to get the upper, to know where we stop at the upper side, hmm? we are going to be using our underbox measurement. All of this was supposed to be done before cutting it out. As I said, it was supposed to be in another class. But another one to use time. So I'll go to the shoulder. Yeah. Our under bust. Our under bust here is 12 and half. So I will go down. 12 and half somewhere here. Somewhere here. 12 and half. Can you see it? So from that 12 and half, I'll be going up three and half. I'll be going up one. Three and a half to get your nipple position. Eh? And then get your nipple position. So that's where my dad is going to stop. Three and a half upwards. Three and a half upwards. So now I'm going to be joining the lines straight. Join it. Miss it. I stop at one inch above the hip. One inch above the hip. So I will take half. I'll take half on both sides, half here, half here. On the waist region. Just on the waist region. So now I'll go like this. I'll go like this. Are you seeing it? This one goes like this, and this goes like this. Are you getting it? So, for me to be able to replicate everything, hmm? for me to be able to replicate everything, both at the back and the other side, I'll be using a tracing wheel to do that. But quite unfortunate, I don't have a tracing wheel here. So I can use my, I can use my um, seam ripper. So now I'm tracing this. Mm -hmm. Tracing 
So you just use a little bit of your, your power. Yes, it's chewed on every other side. Are you seeing it? Come on. Let me show you. It doesn't show. At least I've taught you how to keep the darts. Yet. So now I'm just going to be showing you this dart. Only this one I'm going to be showing you. Yes. So look at how you're going to show your dart. You're going to show your dart from the wrong side, not the right side. Look at what I'm going to do. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? From this place to this place. Are you seeing it? Hmm? Hold that half half inch at the both sides. Just put it together like this. Put this one together. Then I sew. You're not going to get it down. That's why you're going to sew, sew it to get to this place, all right? So, you can see, it has been sewed together. Mm? So that's why you're going to do for this side too. Yeah? After you do your tracing, you will turn it like this. Turn it like this. Mm? What you draft the edge, you use a tracing wheel so that it will appear yeah, appear here, to appear here, to appear here, and appear here, to appear here, 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 yeah. So that's it. So now, what you are going to be doing now is to be joining your side. We are going to get our our um, blouse. Hmm? So now, with the measurements. Are given the measurements are given. Uh, we took in our previous class. You can see that the bust is 34 and a half. So now this bust line that they are going to place our bust so 34 and a half. You can see that it's now the front is placed to the back. So our measurement will not be divided by two. Hmm? So 34 and a half. Four and a half. Hmm? Thirty-four and a half. Can you see? Four and a half. Six. Hmm? Which is what? Seventeen. Seventeen and what? Quarter. Hmm? Seventeen and quarter. So now, I will measure from one end of this place to the other. End of this place. Hmm? This is what? <clears throat> this is 20. Are you getting it? So 17 and quarter. Remove 20. Uh, remove 17 and quarter from 20. Which is 
one, two. Okay, let's say seventeen and quarter. Let's let's so that it will be easy for you. Seventeen and quarter will be six. Then go and measure the remaining one, which is three. All right. We got um, I think we got seventeen and quarter. Then we measure so. We measure for it now, quarter. We would mark that is from this place and the end to this place. So we now, quarter. So we now, quarter. So we measure the remaining one, which is what? Seven, uh, two, three quarter. So now, I will divide my two, three quarter into two. Two three quarter. Can see it. I'll divide my two three quarter into three. You can see. So I'll have one five eight. Hmm? One no one three eight. No, this yes, one three eight, not one five eight. Sorry. One five eight is this one. So one three eight. I'll come here. I'll mark one three eight. I'll go here and mark one three eight. You get it. Then for the waist, for the waist we have twenty five and half. Twenty five and half. Should give you what 12 3 quarter cut it 12 3 quarter so i'll measure from the beginning to 12 3 quarter first the quarter is somewhere here then i measure the remaining one which is five and uh, four and a half i got four and a half I'll divide my four and a half. It should give it two one quarter. I'll mark it two one quarter here. I'll mark two one quarter here. I get it. Then for the hip, we have forty one and a half. So I'll divide it into two. One and half. I'm um, twenty and a half. I said twenty and a half. So I'll start from the beginning. Okay. Twenty and a half. I'm at twenty and a half. Is here and measure the remaining one. Sorry, the hand will shift the lower. Press it again from the beginning here. 20 and a half. You can see it. 20 and a half here. And we measure the remaining one. Just go to two. So, two divided by two. So it's one one. So I'll put one here on this side. I'll put one on the other side. And I'll join my line together. I'm getting it. Hmm? So I will show on those lines. For my joint. For perfect fitting. Hmm? Same thing. I'll come here. So two on this line. Are you getting it? Hmm? So now I'll start some. Please, I said small stitches. 
Hmm? You saw on the lines that you joined. Are you getting it? You saw on the lines that you what? Joined. So, I'll be posting this video. Okay, I'm done. I'm sewing. You can see, I sealed on the lines. That's what you're going to see on. Hmm? You're going to see yours on. Get. Okay. So don't mind this uh, place. I'm taking me pop it open. So we put our shirt is hot. Ready. So you can try yours. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. Hmm? Let me open it and turn it to the front, to the right side. Keep us that to be very, very careful, okay? So, I've successfully turned it. So, look at how it looks like. Please don't mind this um, part. I mistakenly cut it open, all right? So, our round neck blouse, right? Mm -hmm. So, don't forget, you're going to put your darts on four sides here here hmm? you're going to be don't forget your that will be on this place are you getting your that will be on this place on this place on this place and on this place so just take use make use of the this thing i taught you hmm? how to make you put your use your tracing wheel and for what you hold it into for yeah, you trace that first place you have marked. If you show on the four sides, you just sew on it. Mm? Thanks for watching. And by the next class, it's going to be um, sleeves. For that one, it's going to you are going to pay for it. Thank you. Bye.